We're gonna make some buttermilk fried chicken tenders with some buttermilk waffles. That Harlem classic, yeah, beautiful. We're going to take our chicken tenders and let it marinate or tenderize with some buttermilk. And that's one of the things that buttermilk does. It tenderizes meats. It obviously gives it a little bit of that, that sort of tangy flavor as well. It's also going to promote uh, a nice juicy chicken. So we're just gonna let this marinate for about 30 minutes or so. Now we're gonna move on to our waffle mixture. I have a classic buttermilk waffle recipe that I use. One and three quarters cup of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and then a little bit of salt, three tablespoons of sugar, Those are our dry ingredients. Then we need three eggs, a little bit of melted unsalted butter, and one and a half cups of buttermilk. I find that buttermilk, first of all, you taste a little bit of that sort of tang running through the buttermilk, but also it makes a very, very tender uh, waffle. Okay. So we have all our ingredients, and then I'm just going to fold in the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients, and then we'll have our waffle batter. We're gonna let the waffle batter sit for 30 minutes or so as well. We can start frying our chicken and making our waffles. So we have some chicken tenders in here that we were marinating in some buttermilk. And I like to dip my chicken twice into the seasoned flour. So we're going to make basically two dredges of the, uh, of the flour mixture. Obviously we're gonna start with all purpose flour. And then we're gonna season it. A little bit of cayenne, whoops. a little bit of uh, garlic powder and some onion powder and salt and pepper. All right, so then we're going to take some buttermilk. We need a wet dredge and a dry dredge. Man, we got a lot of buttermilk today. And then some hot sauce for some flavor. And if you notice, I season every layer, no matter what it is. Salt and pepper. And we're gonna start by putting the chicken in the flour, then back into the buttermilk, and then back into the flour. I mean, you can put all kinds of different seasonings in here if you want. To me, the most important thing is that it actually has, you know, seasoning and it's flavored. Because otherwise, you're gonna get some bland chicken. All right, here we go. You know, this is just the white meat. There's no skin on it. There's no bones in it. And they're not that thick. So this is gonna cook pretty quickly. When these get golden, they're done. So while those are cooking, let's get our waffles going. I wanna make sure that our waffle iron is on high. I'm gonna paint these with a little bit of butter. And I don't like to make perfect waffles in terms of shape. I like them to be misshapen just because then they look like they're homemade. All right, so we're gonna let those cook. All right, we got our fried chicken ready to go. Now all we need is some waffles. And then we can take some of our chicken. And this is a pretty simple presentation. and then a little bit of honey. And a little bit of hot sauce. A little salt and pepper. All right, let's give it a try. So good. You can taste the tanginess of the buttermilk. So you have the crispiness on the outside, the tender, light and fluffy waffle on the inside. I think the buttermilk has a lot to do with that. And then you have the crispy fried chicken with lots of flavor. And to me, this is uh, actually one of the most perfect dishes in America, period.